I had a history back in 2017 of duodenal ulcers. Then a couple of years back, I started getting all these symptoms that I could only describe really as having like a, a bubble stuck in my throat mm. that sometimes mm. you kind of feel like you wanted to cough up phlegm. I started to lose quite a bit of weight and I was getting nausea as well. So with a duodenal ulcer and with ulcers in the stomach, sometimes they can be caused by an overgrowth of a bacteria that's called Helicobacter pylori. It's often abbreviated as H. pylori. And this is something that can make you feel nauseous and it can even give you headaches and make you feel kind of unwell sometimes in yourself. And it can sometimes also be um, an underlying cause of when you're not absorbing nutrition properly out of your food because it causes dysfunction dysbiosis, which is like an imbalance in the rest of the bugs in the microbiome further down in the small intestine. So the duodenum is the first part of the small intestine, and it's made of something called mucous membrane. It's basically like a wet lining on the inside of your gut. If it becomes inflamed over a really long period of time, it can then start to deteriorate in its physical capacity, really, so that you're literally getting ulcers that form in it. Things that might be helpful for you to look at that can help the quality and the integrity of that mucous membrane all throughout your gut are vitamin A, zinc and vitamin D. They are like three key nutrients that are really, really helpful. Have you ever heard of bone broths or meat stocks? Yes, I very occasionally bought them just to use as sort of... Mm. Stock. That might be really interesting then to see how you respond to that by doing it regularly, like on a daily basis and just see how you feel because the nutrition in there helps repair the gut wall. 